What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Daryl Wilson. Today I want to introduce you guys to a really cool product that I came across that will optimize your website automatically and even give it an A PageSpeed score on the Google PageSpeed Insights. Now I know you guys are thinking, right? You're probably thinking, no dude, this is just another caching plugin. And no, this is actually a service that you run your websites through that gives it a 90 plus PageSpeed score. And I was very skeptical on this service. So when I ran it through uh, the actual booster, uh, both of them went from a D to an A and I was like, wow, I was very surprised. So in this video, I'll introduce you guys to this free plugin and then we're gonna take two websites and run it through this booster and see what happens. Let's take a look. So before I show you guys this plugin, let me first show you guys the websites that I optimized. So I took two websites here and they are now getting a 100% page speed score on the Google Page Speed Insights. Now, uh, this is actually a demo content from a WordPress theme on ThemeForest, and we all know that is not optimized at all. So when I ran it through this uh, booster, I was very surprised on the results. And this one over here is actually an Astra Starter website that was getting a C uh, page speed score, and as of now, it's getting a 98. The mobile score is an 85, and you know, it's not a 90, but it's still pretty high up there for me not doing anything whatsoever. So let me go ahead and introduce you guys to this plugin over here. Now this is the free plugin that you guys will need to install. It is called the 10 Web Booster. Now, although this is a plugin, it is more of a service, right? Because you install the plugin on your back end, and then it actually runs it and integrates it with 10 Web. So it's not necessarily like a plugin that does all of the work. It's more of a service, right? And this service actually has various modes and features, right? They have default, uh, balanced, strong, and extreme. And just depending on how much you want your website optimized, you can pick something over here and it will optimize it accordingly. So let's go ahead and run the actual page speed test. Now we're gonna be using two different websites, right? We have DarylTutorial.com that's already receiving a 26, which is uh, pretty terrible, right? And then we also have Daryl Food, which is getting a 41. Now these are both tutorials that I'm working on in the back end right now. I know I work on a lot of tutorials and they do take me a long time to make. Uh, when I'm not like, you know, pumping out videos quite often, I'm actually working on a lot of tutorials. And here are the actual websites, right? We have DarylFood.com and we also have DarylTutorial.com with this really, really cute dog, right? So let's go ahead and first run this test through Daryl Tutorial and let's just see what happens, right? We have no idea, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and first install the plugin. And over here under search plugins, we are now going to type in 10 web booster. 10 web booster. And this is the plugin that we're going to install. It is the 10 web booster. I'll click on install now. And then we'll click on activate. All right, once this is done, you guys will need to sign up and connect with 10 web. So go ahead and click on sign up and connect. Now, once you guys create an account, it will then start to optimize your website. Now, this part right here can take anywhere between three to five minutes. So just give it like five minutes, you know, go get a coffee, come back and let's see what happens. And after about 10 minutes of waiting, 10Web has successfully optimized my website. Now, the new optimized score is a 99 with a 94 uh, mobile score. Now, I don't really know if this is true or not. So the only way to find out if this is true is to test it. So let's do it. Uh, let's go over here. Now, uh, one thing is they actually did say that this was my original desktop score, which I believe was a lot lower, you know, but uh, that's okay. That's not a big issue. Let's just see if they actually, you know, changed my actual website, right? So uh, let's go ahead and click on analyze here and let's just go ahead and run this. Now, I'm not gonna edit the video. I'm just gonna let this go on because I don't want anyone thinking that I edited the video anyway to, you know, change the score for them or something, right? Or Photoshop it in, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait this out. Let's just go ahead. Oh, there it is, it's done. So we now have a 94 uh, page speed score. This is actually pretty surprising, right? This is actually uh, pretty incredible because I just showed you guys that we had a, it was like a 30 or something and now we have a 94 but i'm actually very surprised we went from like a d rating all the way to a 94 percent so yeah this plugin is one for one so yeah if you guys were not a believer then maybe now you guys are right so now that we actually optimized this first website let's let's give it one more try here Let, let's see if they're uh, going to be two for two here so uh, we actually optimized this website fully and we have the uh, proof to back it up right but there still is the other website which is darylfood.com and this is actually a multi-vendor food tutorial that I'm working on. I'll go ahead and run it through the optimizer one more time. And after we do that, we're then going to install the plugin and see what results we get on that website. So let's just go ahead and give it maybe one minute. 
All right, so you can see we have a 33%. So we, we need we got some work to do here. We, we got some work to do. So let's go ahead and see if the 10 web booster can also boost this website with a very low page speed of 33. All right, this is the actual website. Just to give you guys a little preview here. Uh, yeah, this is a website I'm working on. You know, it's a it's a tutorial I'm working on actually, and uh, I'm actually you know using a bunch of random themes and plugins and testing stuff out. But you know, you guys don't care. So let's let's go ahead and install this plugin and see uh, what happens. So over here, let's go to plugins, add new, and 10 web booster. Let's see if they're going to be two for two. You know, right now they're one for one. You know, they're batting. Uh, they have a pretty good batting average. Let's see if they can uh, uh, live up to the hype here. So I'll go ahead and install the 10 web booster. All right, and I'll go ahead and sign up and connect. And as of right now, it's analyzing our website. So again, this might take around five to 10 minutes. So I'm going to go get a coffee and come back. And after about 10 minutes of waiting, we have now received a 98 desktop score and a 79 on mobile score. Now in 10 webs defense for this low mobile score, I'm actually using a really glitchy WordPress theme over on ThemeForest. It only has like 150 active installs. So it isn't a properly optimized theme, but still with these results, I can say with confidence, I'm actually very happy with these results. So we'll give them a two for two, you know, congratulations. They still gave us a 98 uh, desktop score, but let's go ahead now and test this out, right? Let's go back over, over here to our, uh, page speed insights tester and let's click on analyze here and let's just see what happens let's go let, let's gamble here i'll click on analyze so just remember you know we did have a 33 or was it 32 or 33 on the page speed insight score so let's just take a look and see what's happened now i'm going to keep talking here because i don't want to edit the video because i don't want anyone to think that uh i you know photoshop something in or i did something you know all right 77 Still not bad, you know, but again, this is for the mobile, like they did tell us, and for the desktop here, we're at a 99. So again, I'm very happy with these results, and I'm uh, very surprised that uh, the plugin actually gave us these results. So what do you guys think of this plugin? You know, is this something that you guys would use on your websites? I'm probably gonna use this plugin on my e-commerce website that's upcoming. It is called copycoffee.com, and I do plan on selling my own coffee, and I'm probably gonna use it on this website. And this is the website that I'm actually working on. It is copycoffee.com, and I probably actually will run this tester uh, through this website as well. This website, you know, we're working on it, but uh, obviously we still have like, you know, just lower ipsum text and stuff like that. So it's obviously not ready yet. But uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna use that same plugin on my upcoming e-commerce website, kopicoffee.com. But what did you guys think about this plugin? You know, personally, I'm actually very surprised about this plugin. Uh, when I first heard about this plugin, I thought it's just some BS, you know, ca caching plugin or something and just, ooh, you know, uh, clear your cache, you know, but it's actually a service that has various techniques where they, you know, minimize your JavaScript. And it's actually funny, you guys can go to their options over here and, uh, you know, experiment with these and see which one works best for you, such as like the standard technique, the balance, the strong and the extreme. So um, yeah, they made a believer out of me, but uh, now that you guys have seen the plugin, what did you guys think about it? Do you guys think this plugin's good? Good. Do you think it's just another fad? Would you use this on your other websites? Let me know in the comments below. And again, if you guys do want to check out 10web, there is a link below to check out their web hosting. My name is Daryl Wilson. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.